Hello guys and welcome back to the next video which will be about the Windows performance counters and this might be an interesting topic for you especially if you are interested or in need to monitor some of the Microsoft solutions I'm talking about uh, Windows servers, Active Directory, domain controllers Microsoft SQL or any other services or solutions that are inside of Windows because well at least from my experience the Linux is pretty open and it's quite easily to collect all of the required metrics from the Unix type machines but in Windows everything is pretty closed. You should know that it's absolutely not a problem to open any of the services or applications that you are using in Windows and check the performance data uh, basically live on your screen but that's not what we actually need we need to collect those metrics 24 7 and create some triggers that will notify us when the problem will happen so how can we easily do that with a Zabbix easy uh, in the Windows there is such thing as performance counters and uh, what we will need for this task we'll just need uh, CMD running from the admin and also the regedit so first of all with a CMD just type one small command it is type perf as type performance uh, dash QX and then I will output this file to see Zabbix. So basically the output of this command will go to czabbix uh, perf.txt. Click enter, it will run for a couple of seconds, done. Now you can open your czabbix. So there we go. And there is a new file created. What we have in this file? You see all of these, let me make this a little bit bigger, all of these are the actual performance counters and each of them has some specific metrics behind them and in my case this is just a regular Windows machine so I have just generic metrics but if you'll have some some of the server components like AD or DC or whatever else you will find also related metrics about those services and trust me quite a lot of them if you cannot find anything that might be relevant to you you just uh, cannot see the proper words then just google uh, let's say Microsoft SQL performance counters and trust me you will find something from the list that you will get here so then how can we use this so well, let's just pick some random data uh, I don't know something from see we even have something about a Skype where it was there we go something about a Skype cool Nvidia so quite a lot of data well I don't know let's pick uh, uh, something like this this probably will be zero so just copy paste it then I will open my uh, Linux machine with a Zabbix server installed and I will use a Zabbix get Zabbix just to test this item so minus s will be the IP address of my Windows machine which is 192.168.56.1 minus key perf counter underscore perf counter and then just put it in the brackets and copy paste what you got from your Windows machine click enter there we go we got the values of course this might not be very interesting counter and uh, in my case it will always show zeros but if you will look something specific from your services you will get a proper data then what how can we add this in in a Zabbix so just open your Zabbix frontend create a host for your Windows machine go to the items uh, create a new item call it something whatever you want type of the item will be Zabbix agent or Zabbix agent active so these items are working together with an agent and just copy paste your nope not that much uh, okay let me copy again I will open this we need just the key performance counter and uh, and the actual performance counter in the brackets like this add update interval something add 
There we go, we have an item, we can create a trigger for it, and we can go to the latest data. Well, this haven't updated yet, but I already have, uh, as example, processor information for the percentage of the processor time, which is 11.11. .11. And there we go, the graph. You can create triggers on this and uh, store all the history, notify your administrators about the problems. And this applies absolutely everything that you have on your Windows machine. As you've seen, we even have something about a Skype here. I'm not actually sure about what those metrics are about a Skype show, so if you need them, uh, perhaps give a quick Google about these performance counters and you will find something. Then, another thing, why do I have, uh, why do I mention it also a regedit? So, pay attention on this location of the counters, and I will paste this in the description, don't worry. What do we have here? Uh, when I open it, it's selected all, so I will just Control c create a new file, and paste everything here. Basically, what we have, see, each of this is like a tree. We have a network adapter, Bluetooth device, something, then we have a metric packet sent, then we have something else, something else, and each of these parts has also a numeric identification, and exactly the thing that we see in the regedit is a numerical representation, so as example for the, uh, for the memory it is 4, for the processor time it is 6. Why? Sometimes it is relevant to use exactly numeric values instead of just copy-paste of the text. It will be a lot easier for you if you're planning to make templates for a multiple Windows devices. What will happen if uh, five of your computers have English language, Windows Eng English language, and some other Windows machines might have different languages? Also, these performance counters, their names will be on a native Windows language. So, it might happen that five machines are in Windows, five in a German or something like that, and then one single standard, standard template will not work on all of those hosts. So, in that case, if you will use these numerical representations, then it will work absolutely on all the language uh, Windows machines. Uh, that's about it. So uh, another important thing uh, about a Zabbix agent and how Zabbix agent reads these performance counters. Zabbix agent does that only when it starts. So first of all, Zabbix agent starts, it reads all of this information and that's it. If something will change from this output, from type perf, Kx and uh, Zabbix agent won't be restarted, you won't be able to monitor these metrics. So if something has changed, some new performance counters added, some new services installed, which of course added new performance counters, you must restart the Zabbix agent. Well, that's about it from my side uh, today. As usual, any comments, any suggestions, questions, whatever else, post it in the comments. Uh, any feedback? any requests for some topics i've actually it's not an easy task for me to figure out about what to make my videos uh, not because i don't have a topics to talk about but because most of them are pretty large and it will definitely make like 40 50 minutes of video which you probably would not want to watch but i don't know so feedback in the comments anyways uh Thank you, have a good day, whatever else, and uh, see you in the next videos. Goodbye.